The altar. The altar is the place for transformation. People come to the altar to meet with God and receive a life-changing touch. This is an important time and one that everyone working the altar should take very seriously. In this training, we will deal with the purpose, positioning, and how to flow with the pastor or minister during the altar call. The altar. The altar is where adjustments in life are triggered by authorized regulations. Altar is where challenges, changes, character, and champion attitudes are forged for the expansion of the kingdom of God and for experiencing and enjoying the kingdom lifestyle. There are four laws to the altar, adjust, correct, amend, change, agree, comply, assimilate, conform. The purpose. The purpose of altar training and altar ministry is to keep the flow of God's anointing uninterrupted. Distractions at the altar can really disturb the flow of the anointing. Altar workers in the way, people not positioned right, altar workers not alert or not paying attention are just some of the things that happen that break the flow of the anointing. If properly trained, even with the full altar, the workers at the altar flow seamlessly with the flow of the anointing and everyone is blessed. Altar workers qualifications. Scripture references are Acts 6, 3 and Acts chapter 11, verses 20 through 2 through 24. Although the scriptures above are guidelines described for the qualifications of deacons in the ministry, they also make great scriptural qualifications for anyone who works in the ministry of helps. These scriptural guidelines are for faithful and dependable people. These are the types of people we want working the altar. Also, if you're struggling with any obvious sin in your life, we recommend that you do not participate in altar duty until you are delivered. There's a transference of spirits that may take place and we would not want anyone who is trying to get free from sin hindered by sin in the life of an altar worker. Listed below is the breakdown of the qualifications for altar workers. This is given out of Acts chapter 6 verse 3 of honest report. It means that they are, no back, they are not backbiters, gossipers, or people in sin. Full of the Holy Ghost, baptized with the evidence of speaking in tongues and proof of the power of the Holy Ghost active in their lives full of wisdom, that is, full of the Word of God, and able to give sound, wise, godly counsel from the Scriptures. In Acts 11, 22 through 24, Barnabas was described as some man, a good man, full of the Holy Ghost and full of faith. Godly counsel is when you are able to tell a person what the Word of God says about their circumstance or their situation not your opinion. Altar Ministry Flowchart. Please refer to the following Altar Ministry Flowchart with respect to your branch and where they're positioned. The Elders. Let's start with the pastor and the elders who flank him. There should always be at least one male and one female elder or minister to the right and left of the pastor. This gives him a go-to person for special ministry needs. If he requires you to minister to a person on the altar, another elder should step in to replace them. Also, stay out of the way of the pastor as he walks the altar and moves in the direction he is going. He should never have to walk around you or try to find you. When you are praying with the pastor, do not be loud and overshadow the prayer the pastor is praying and do not try to prophesy to a person when he is ministering to them. You are there for support only, not to be a distraction. The altar captain. The altar captain is there to help with the altar traffic and flow. The altar captain usually stands on the stage and manages the ushers and deacons while also monitoring those who have been ministered to. 
The role of the altar captain is to eliminate chaos and clutter at the altar that would distract the man of God from flowing with the anointing. Altar workers, especially ushers and deacons, should take their cues from the altar captain and rotate accordingly. Ushers and Deacons The ushers and deacons provide a necessary role during the altar call. Properly positioned people at the altar is the first step towards maintaining the flow and managing the traffic at the altar. The facilitating usher or deacon should position the people at the altar on the carpet with sufficient room for the minister and his team to move, while at the same time giving ample room for the person to be ministered to. There's a full altar. Feel free to stage the other people on the wings to the left or right until the people at the altar are ministered to. Once the people at the altar have been ministered to, then position the people on the wings at the altar as necessary. Once a person has been ministered to, if they are a member of the church, you can gently suggest to them they can return to their seats. If they are not a member, ask them to stay at the altar if it's not full and wait for the pastor to release them to the harvest team or back to their seats. If they are not a member and the altar is full, gently ask them to wait in the wing section until the pastor releases them to the harvest team. Be sure to follow the directions of the altar captain during this process. Note to catchers, ushers, deacons, security staff, and altar workers are encouraged only to use the proper hand and arm placement when assisting someone who is slain in the spirit. The paired catchers should position themselves with one person supporting the upper back while the other person supports the lower back. This will make a cradle and allow for good support for the person as they are falling. Do not grab the person by the arm and try to assist them to the floor. The greeters. The greeters should position themselves at the outer corners of the altar until the pastor starts ministering. Once ministry at the altar begins, the greeters should position themselves with lap cloths just outside the elders who are assisting pastor at the altar based on the flow direction. That is, if pastor is moving to his right, the greeter on the left side should be moving with the team while the greeter on his right waits. If a person is slain in the spirit, whether male or female, a lap cloth should be placed on them. The cloth should cover from their knees to their neckline. It is important to step in, lay the cloth, and step out of the way. If you run out of lap cloths, another greeter should be waiting to step in on the flow direction side. Another greeter should also be on assignment with tissue so that the team working with the pastor does not have to stop and get tissue. The usher or deacon assigned to watch the people who have been slain in the spirit can collect the lap cloths and hand them to the greeters. The security team. Even though the security team functions as a backup for the altar workers, their role at the altar is vital. They are included in this training because they provide a supportive ministry service to pastor when he is on the road and a full complement of altar staff is not readily available. The security team will be deployed at the altar in compliance with the security guidelines set forth in their manual with respect to keeping the altar uncluttered with staff. The harvest team. The harvest team assists us with gathering the valuable information needed for follow-up ministry. As soon as the altar call begins, the harvest team should position themselves in the praise team area until the altar respondents are released to them. The harvest team then gets their information and enters it into the online harvest form. We will deal with a more in-depth look at the role and function of the harvest team in the member care video training. The greeter slash cloth person. Work the backside of flow direction. Stay out of the way of the ministers. Do not distract the ministers in any way. Get additional cloths from ushers or help staff. Use greeters on each side of the ministers when the altar is full. Lay cloths immediately 
and cover both the upper and lower torso. Make sure nothing is exposed. The usher or wait staff. With a firm voice, ask the person to give you their hand and ask them to just sit upright first. Once they position their legs underneath them, you can support them at their arm and elbow and assist them to their feet. If they're a member, you can tell them the Lord will continue to minister them at their seat. If they're not a member, have them wait at the altar until they're released to the harvest team, the ushers or catchers. Keep your eyes open and stay ready at all times. Be sure to follow the minister and also watch the altar captain. Do not leap over, straddle, stand over, step on, or trip over people. Do not adjust anyone's clothing and always follow the directions of the altar captain. The ministry staff. Once ministry has begun, assume your position at the altar. Be prepared to come up and minister to people on the altar. During the altar ministry, be prepared for one-on-one -on -one ministry at the altar. Hello, KHM team. I pray that you're inspired by today's altar ministry training video. Uh, we've got many more videos coming to you this year that hopefully will bless you and, and keep you on track with the training that we are looking to provide for you this year. If you need a printed copy of the altar manual or an electronic copy, email me at amiles, A-M-Y-L-E-S, at gmail.com. I'll be sure to get it out to you. Now, on behalf of Apostle Brown, Lady Francis, I want to thank you for your commitment to the ministry. God bless you and keep you.